Okay, so we got some bumper music with the uh, MRS podcast today. Uh, that was my very low budget way of handling that. So uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, this is episode, I believe this is episode five or six, I can't remember, of the MRS podcast. So if you are subbed to my YouTube channel, I am making a series of podcasts for my friends, old friends from college. Uh, their names are Maiden, Rob, and Sparky. And uh, we're trying to explain to them that we've been lied to on a massive scale. And they don't see it, but I'm trying to show them some things. So um, we're going to go back to the day after September 10th commission report. All right. So I go into Google and I type this in right here. And I come down here and I click on this .gov. Just to show you guys, I'm not making this shit up. I'm not typing it into Word and presenting this as uh, a lie as what, what is really out there. So um, the important signatures and the seal makes it look all official. And you go down here and you get to this. This is where the story begins. Page one. We have some planes. This thing literally reads like a story written by a novelist. Tuesday. September, day after 10th, 2001, dawned temperate and nearly cloudless in the eastern United States. Millions of men and women readied themselves for work. Some made their way to the Twin Towers, the signature structures of the World Trade Center complex in New York. So, it, it, I mean, it's literally written like a story for a fourth grader. Um, but we're going to come down here to page four. And what the hell is this? United 93, between 7.03 and 7.39, Saeed, Ahmed, Ahmed, and Zirad uh, all boarded, these four Muslim terrorists boarded Flight 93 going to, what does that say? Los Angeles. All right, now I want to point something out. I'm going to go over here. How much money did they spend on the commission report? They were given a budget of $3 million, and then later on, they spent another $11 million. They spent $14 million. And this thing took 20 months. And we're on page four of this report. And they're telling us that 93 was headed to Los Angeles. If I go into Google and I type in where was it going, it says it was going to San Francisco. It also says they were 33 passengers. We're going to get into that one later on. That's You guys, trust me, you're not ready for that. Um, San Francisco. They even built a memorial. And where did they build this thing? It was built in Union City, California. So, of course, I don't know where the hell that is, but they built a memorial for Flight 93 in Union City, California. So I'm going to go over here to um, Maps. I believe it's right here. Yep. Lo and behold, wow. Union City is part of the San Francisco Metroplex. It's right there. So you think they built the memorial in the wrong place? Or do you think they spent $14 million investigating this thing and they have their story wrong on page four? Which is it? Was the flight going to San Francisco or was it going to Los Angeles? Should we trust the government to be correct after spending $14 million in 20 months writing up this stupid report, which is nothing but a fairy tale? Or should we trust... Where the, the, I mean, the powers that be that built this memorial in the San Francisco area. Uh, it's just, it's, it's laughable that they can't get their, that's what happens when you start lying. You can't remember what your lie was and you screw it up. That's what happened on this, guys. That's, I'm, I'm convinced. It's hard to keep stories straight when you're not telling the truth. All right. So another thing about this day after September 10th commission report. Uh, that, that happened was I know that all of you guys have heard about the uh, put options that were bought on United and American Airlines in the days leading up to the day after September 10th. I know you guys have heard about that. And it's even addressed in the, night, in the day after September 10th commission report that they spent $14 million on. And those were $14 million of you know, $2,003, okay? That, that would have went a lot farther than two, $14 million today. Regardless, it's inexcusable to spend $14 million on this report. And then on page four, you, you've got something that, mat that doesn't even match up with what Google tells us, okay? So anyway, we're going to go back to this uh, day after September 10th report. And on page 499, 
what we find is that uh, the UAL puts were bought on September 6th. Okay, right there, September 6th. Okay, and then they say, but don't worry. It was part of a trading strategy because the same investor went in and bought 115,000 shares of American Airlines on September 10th. Well, if you look at the calendar, September 6th was Thursday. September 10th was Monday. So this investor went out and bought all these put options on Thursday the 6th. And then, you know, maybe if they really did investigate somebody and they actually found a single investor, which I, I don't believe anything on this report, uh, but if they really did find an investor, gee, it's like, gee, I wonder, he, he, maybe he couldn't sleep very well on Saturday and Sunday over the weekend because he had this massive paper trail leading right back to his foot, his foot, his feet. Uh, I mean, it was coming right back to him. And if this thing does go down the way he's been told it's going to go down, it's coming right back to him. So he panics and he decides to buy the stock on Monday to say, hey, I was. But here's the problem. You buy the puts on Thursday, but you don't buy the stock till Monday. What if the stock goes down on Friday? If you're such a cowardly investor, you don't have the guts to hold the stock without protecting you on the downside with the puts. Makes you, it, it, it would make a lot more sense that you would have bought both of these on the same day. Now, that would be a little bit more believable. But no, you buy it on Thursday and then wait until Monday to buy the stock. You didn't even have the stock when you bought the put options. That makes no sense whatsoever. Then, it, to, to add insult to injury to the average intelligence of the average American, what they're saying on the UAL puts is these were all bought on September 10th. But the reason, it's innocuous, guys. You don't need to look any further because the reason all these investors bought all these puts on United on September 10th, the reason for that is because they were told to buy them by a, a newsletter that was faxed out to all its subscribers on Sunday the 9th. Okay, I subscribe to a lot of newsletters. I subscribe to Sparky's little text message in the middle of the day saying, buy on weakness, sell on strength. Uh, I, I'm doing that, but I, I, I miss, I've missed 80% of those, 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 those trades just because I'm not at my phone when the message comes through. I'd like to trade them all because I think he's got something figured out, it seems like. But I, I'm missing them. You're telling me that, there was, that some newsletter out there was so powerful and had such wealthy investors following it that they, they didn't even think about this for even one day. They went out and they bought them all on the 10th. And then to add even more insult to injury to this ridiculous, stupid fairy tale, the 9-11 commission report doesn't tell us who this investor was that bought all these put options on American Airlines. And they don't name the person that wrote the stinking newsletter that went out to all these investors. So does it make more sense that, you know, maybe some people had fore foreknowledge of this? And their cover story was a fax newsletter. And then when we can fake an investigation, uh, because we're Congress and we control all this crap, you know, we can, uh, we're, it's a good old boy system at the top and you guys know it is. Does it make more sense that they had foreknowledge? So they bought all the put options and they, they knew that their cover story would be, well, we'll just say we were following a newsletter's advice. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the bumper music. I kept this one under 10 minutes today, so that's it. We'll talk to you guys later. Oh, by the way, I want you guys to text message me. Please let me know you already knew this stuff or you didn't. And maybe you can defend the, nine, the day after September 11th. Oh, I hope this video doesn't get taken down. Uh, I'm going to leave it in there. I don't have time for it. I got a baseball game starting at 1.30 Eastern. So that's it, guys. That's it for today. Message me and let me know. Did you already know this? Has this been pointed out to you? previously and uh, what kind of stories will you guys fabricate to defend the official commission report. See ya. Bye.